This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show episode 669. Is that right? Nice. Is that? <laughs> Thanks for that. No, 668. It's 668 for sure. Less than nice. <laughs> no, no, it is 669. That didn't update. Right. Nice. Okay, there How it is. ironic. Something's not working on the website and it confused me. Anyways, it is. You're just confused because we missed a week. Listen, what is going on? It, okay, we did not have a show last week, first of all. Sorry about that. But we made it up for you this week. Well, one, we did have our Facebook Live, and we had ducks. We had Ty Cross ducks and everything. Um, we have uh, Mad Mike with us from Beacon, New York, the only mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. Well, technically true. <laughs> good. Good. It is. I haven't gotten mine yet, but they haven't hired me either. I did apply for the w- a WWE job. Not too long. I, I've probably done it a couple of times now. You did but, too. Yeah, you know who hasn't at this point, right? Um, everybody Not gets their, <laughs> Hey, everybody. Well, there's that. Everybody has to get there at least once, so their booking fees go up, right? And yeah. one of the guys on. Uh, sure, you're lucky you're able to have me. That's right. That's I right. I tripled my rate from zero to zero. Yes, happy podcasting. Uh, another guy that's on that trajectory of upping his uh, his indie booking rates is the Rev Ron Hunt is with us. Yeah. Now, I just realized I'm pointing, so I apologize. Big Lee John Machesi, I will pay you for this point since it's copyright. <laughs> but Yes, only one guy. Oh, somebody's got to have a pinky, right? I Someone's mean, Someone's got a pinky. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. What about that matter. King of Millville that you tag teamed with a couple months ago? Oh, Does he boy. do a pinky thing? Ugh. That was... Well, that was interesting. That was it. Doesn't a, Noam Dar a also do one. a pinky thing? I, I, I gave. I, I think I gave Rev shit afterwards um, because at, this was the ring was in the middle of a gymnasium. Yeah. So there were people on a hot gymnasium. like a hot gymnasium. So there was nobody ringside. It was just everybody was in the bleachers on one side or the other. And for some reason, he sold to the like you were reacting to the wall. Yeah. I and would... and I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> I, mean, I, I kinda I kinda knew where you guys were, but then there's no hard cam and I'm just like, yeah, I need something. I'm like, oh the wall will react. Like is the wall there was nothing, there was no balcony, there the, was just like there, I'm there gonna were no floor seats. Listen, all... listen, I'm just gonna be uh waiting for my tag and I'm gonna yell at this basketball hoop for a little well, bit. Well I don't I don't know. I don't know I don't know if you realize this because I I really I really love the uh I really love the king and I, I won't mention. But I think this is the second time we tagged and he like Kind of low blowed the guy right in front of the ref, and I had to somehow cover it up. It's like, no, it's the it's the abdomen. And I'm like, why did you just low blow him right in front of the ref? <laughs> but yeah, you gotta get your tag teams in order, man. Yeah. You gotta get your tag teams in order. You get gotta make sure you get the winner's share of that purse. That's right. That's right. That's how it works. <laughs> um, anyways, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're going to talk about professionalized wrestling of some sort here. I'm getting I'm getting the training wheels off here because I feel weird that I was not doing a podcast last week. But we're here. I did like this is like my fourth podcast today. So we're going in big time. Ooh, uh, yeah. 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 We Deal did like, color your time. like two of them at least yesterday. Big no, time. we did like three yesterday. OK, so big time podcasting. Um, Ooh, but we got a lot going on there. here. Yeah. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can uh, hit us up on all the social medias at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, the Wrestling May- Mayhem Show Facebook group and page, where we go live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, uh, except for when I'm booked. And we are going to have a streak. We will have no problems, at least until September. Um, and also, wake me up when September ends. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, I'll say, and drop us a line at that email address. Good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com and 412 206 WMS0. 
Also, you can ask your Google Home or Amazon Echo to play the Wrestling Mayhem Show, whether that be on your Google Podcasts uh, or TuneIn services, whatever you have connected to your voice assistant device. You can get the mayhem uh, all around your house. I just love the idea of somebody saying, play Wrestling Mayhem Show, and like literally... All their devices in their house start playing. Was it like the like the Disney uh, smart house? Yeah, yeah, like everything from like your refrigerator to <laughs> you know your your doorbell your is now brush. is now like Mad Mike ranting about you know uh, uh, how AEW is still a t shirt company or something. Uh, uh, God, <laughs> it, no, if if my if my rants were a doorbell, it would be fuck TNA. Yeah, I was I wasn't gonna go back that far. No, it's okay. I I, I can. That's a good Come idea. On. We should do that. We should have like you can do like the daily um flash briefings on on the on, on the Amazon Echo. Like, <laughs> but it'll just be like Mad Mike's daily like wrestling rant. This is what I don't like oh, for today. God, God, I I don't know if I have the strength for that. You just need you just need a but rant. Sorg, you know what we should do? What we should make ringtones for people. <laughs> Oh, I'll put you on that project, boy. Mike. Have fun with that. This is gonna be like the Jamster, like ninety nine cent ringtone, a uh, little ringtone deal. No, still- we'll we'll do it for Patreons. Free downloads for Patreons. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. So we just need. Well, that that's your assignment now, Mike. <laughs> so get to work. Well, I'm not gonna fucking do it. You have all the stuff there. No, I have a little laptop and a shitty wire, shitty wired microphone that I've had since like 2008. Oh, we need to upgrade you. Yeah, I know. You literally say that every single we, time. We, we need I have received You know what? No Chilla should just send you his old headset that since he was showing off his new headset on Awesome Cast. Yeah, so fucking Chilla. You too can help Jeez. Mayhammer get better equipment for his podcast. See, I can cut a, I can cut him a commercial for that just like I did Zeke Mercer with the 99 <laughs> five cents a day. Five cents a day. You were you on after that? No, that was before. We shared that in the group. Was it? Oh, yeah. I was on before that. I wasn't on after that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> These purples just get better and better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, one day people are going to see that new Zeke Mercer. You heard about this, right? This kid's going places. This kid's going places. So, yeah. Maybe. I'm wrestling him again, by the way. In really? A- in August. Really? We're going to do a, uh, a benefit show for a good friend of the Beast Man. Uh, uh, there's a friend of his who's raising money for the family. And uh, he said, hey, Rev, if you're free for this date, who do you want as your opponent? And I said, give me Zeke Mercer. <laughs> give me his soul. So I'll be wrestling Zeke Mercer in August at the Black Diamond Arena in Benwood, West Virginia. Fantastic. Always a good time with that. Um so where the hell am i patreon thank you our <laughs> patreon supporters uh oh also we're streaming at uh, the 405 media.com where you can uh, fall asleep to the sweet sounds of mayhem at midnight eastern 9 p.m pacific time thank you our patreon supporters at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show our friends at the fan of the show one dollar level Bo diggity Woo! Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, uh, Team Hammerfist, and the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. Also at the oh, po- hold on, sorry, um, sorry, um, I need to find it. Team Hammerfist is doing a um something for Pride. I'm gonna bring it up so we can plug it on here. Okay, uh, go and bring that up. I'll get through the rest of the list here. Pocky Club, you guys get the uh, special stuff. We'll be asking uh, Rev some of his deep, deep deepest, darkest secrets here Ooh. for After Dark. Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> the real questions come out then. Down and dirty. Whoa. Uh, well, we did have a Ronnie Stark shoot interview a few weeks ago. Yeah, I don't think it's more dirtier than Ronnie Stark. <laughs> <laughs> I know at that least, from a personal experience. At least it was safe. Uh, but those include Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, Dave Potter, the Tiny Shutter Podcast, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. And at the 10 10- Dollar level, actually at thirteen dollars, is Ryan Clark, and at the manager level is our friends, is our our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling. Uh, you can support the show too at patreoncom slash wrestling mayhem show. Okay, Mike. Sorry, hold on, hold on yes. I found oh. it. Plugs. Uh, so our friends at Team Hammerfist. Yes. Uh, my buddy is down in Florida. They are for the month of June running a. Um, uh, promotion where all the profits will be donated to the uh, at GLBT Orlando. It's um it's a wrestling nerds pride shirt. It's basically a luchador mask with pride flag colors. Oh, nice! I'm going to post the link in the chat room. Okay. Um, and we can also post it on the page so we can promote it. But it's a really really good cause. And uh, Jesse, the guy who is basically running Team Amethyst, does awesome shirts. I have several of his. Nice. Uh, I have a shirt that 
says indie wrestling in the font of Indiana Jones, and uh, his shirts are all very high quality. And it's over at represent.com. I see is the source of that link. Uh, wrestling. Yes, it's represent.com slash wrestling dash nerds dash pride dash t dash shirt. There's a lot or of we'll dashes. Put, in we'll here. put the link in the in the Facebook group too. Fantastic. Go support that. Um, awesome. So let's get into some wrestling talk, Mad Mike. Do we have to? <laughs> we're we're good. <laughs> we're good talking about other stuff. I, I can still tease you about Dark Phoenix a little bit. I'm uh, going to see it Saturday. It's fine. It's good. I it's, I expect it to dazzle me, Sorg. Uh, you know, I think you'll get some dazzle. You'll yeah, get some dazzle. That, that's what it's I've just, heard. It's just I've so heard there hard. might be some razzle and might be some dazzle. Might be some dazzler. That's the, I know that's the joke. I oh, making. oh, okay. I, that was cricket, for me, cricket. So. So I Cricket. so there's this thing that happens. Well, we're not even getting into wrestling yet. Uh, there's this thing that happens when I watch a movie like this, and I'll like kind of let out a little excited, mm, you know, kind of thing because I notice something that I remember, like Dazzler, like, and then my wife is like, "What was that?" You know, like, <laughs> it's like, listen, okay, See, okay, that one part I, I explained what. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah, um, oh. sometimes that happens in wrestling. <laughs> <It's something laughs> terrible. It's just louder and nobody notices. Um, but we were the only ones in the theater. Um, anyways. There was some wrestling. Um, I did. I did in my travels. Actually, today, because of my travels, I finally finished Takeover Twenty Five and some show that happened in the Middle East. Um, so uh, I don't know anything about that sort. I still, I still am on the on the. If you don't watch televised uh, uh, cable WWE, you are just fine. Just fine. Also, mm-hmm. there's a where are they now with Nicholas. On the that that's been up for a while. I know. I just discovered it. Uh, okay. He's training. And he's flipping over. He's flipping over big wheel trucks. He's. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. I love little Nicholas. It is, it is the best two minutes on the network. Um, I'm sure it's on YouTube as well. Um, and I love Matt Carlin's and and really we should have Matt talking about New Japan here on the show. Um, we should just give him a New Japan update like minute every week. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> boy that and that's how it started with a man now look at him that, that's true that's true he's going full heel <laughs> full heel no, I, that was i don't even know what he's doing in wrestling down there uh i'm not i'm not i'm not up on the texas wrestling and in, in, in amen's uh latest thing i see him promoting inspire every once in a while uh but matt carlin's saying uh if you're not excited to talk about wrestling you're talking about the wrong wrestling i know he's been really really enjoying new japan uh right now mike um so so there's been a lot going on uh, and uh, I, 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 let's let's touch on uh, Mike. You've definitely watched Takeover, right? Oh yeah, I, like I know. Takeover. I'm a week off of this, but I, I'm still excited because I finished this, and it was like Takeover is great. Yeah, it was. Um, <laughs> what was great about it, Mike? Oh God, fucking everything! Like, uh, the fact that Tyler Breeze is j- is back in NXT just full time now is automatically a win. Mm-hmm. And I, God, I could. I could make a list of twenty people I'd want to do the same thing. Let me let me guess. I I, I take it you're having a breeze gasm right now. Oh yeah, it was breeze and Velveteen Dream. Come on, I, mean, I, like, I, I, I love Velveteen Dream. If you can't get hyped for that, you're Velveteen Dream is like my spirit animal. Velveteen Dream is like my son. What? <laughs> I got a lot of I got a lot of wrestling sons in the business. I'm a father of many nations, including Velveteen Dream. Look, Revateen Dream. Yeah. Think about that one. You like that. I know you like that. Revateen Dream. Can you imagine? Velveteen Dream in a robe. Just Velveteen Dream. Ah, there's a choir behind him and everything. I'll, I'll write the whole thing. Hunter, you can thank me later. I'll write the whole thing. If you see them coming out with a choir, you know it's from here. So archive this. Uh, <laughs> but you knew that was going to be good because I mean, we, we saw Tyler Breeze in like house shows as a surprise mm-hmm. and they tore down the house with him. Yeah. Like so, to say, hey, we're gonna throw you on a takeover. I, I think it's great for him, and and I don't feel like it's a step back for somebody no. like that. No, it, no. It, God it, no. If anything, going to the main roster is a step back. At this it, point. it does feel like it. You kind of uh, like Shayna Baszler was talking about how everybody left uh, uh, that she's faced, and it was just like, yeah, yeah, and you're still doing the better one yeah. out of all of them, right? And I, I think I think now, like at first when they were kind of you know starting off, it was more of like. Hey, all right, you know, this is a real good cop. And now it's like certain people are like, do I really have to go? Like, no. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you, you, you definitely see a vast difference. It's almost like they're not even ran by the same 
no. parent company. No. You know, which which is crazy, but uh, there's different. There's still. I mean, you you've seen this, right? I mean, you've been you know between the Ring of Honor and, and other mm-hmm. groups. Um, you've seen the different or the backstage of the indie shows. You see yeah. different booking styles, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think that's what's happening there. You know, there's a structure, and a lot of people are discussing. It. I listened to the John Moxley interview with Jericho, and he talked about the things that he was frustrated with on that level. And we, you know, we talk about week to week on the show. We're just like something is definitely wrong here. Yeah. Something is not clicking. Uh, I watched. I mean, the, we know what it is. We, 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 <laughs> we have an idea of what it is. No, no, we know what it is. <laughs> like he, he flat out said it in the interview. Right, 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 right. So yeah, we we say it's the Vince problem, right? Um yeah. And and I don't know. I'm seeing stories. I I don't know if they're kayfabe news or not about like you know even Vince admits that there's a problem with things, right? Yeah. At this point, and maybe there is, and it, it, well, I, there is, there is, I, I there think is. There's categorically a problem. Uh, how yeah. how late is, is too late? Because I think from everyone from the outside looking in, I mean, everyone knew that there was some form. Of a problem, then you mm-hmm. just wait until the whole house is on fire to be like, okay, but, there is a problem. See, but see, here's the thing: they can literally change it all on a dime. They could because they own everything. They it's could. not like it's not like the DC universe where they spent two years making a movie and once it comes out, they realize, oh yeah, there's well, something slightly problematic here. They can't just go in and fix it and release a new version of the movie next week. They can fix. All the problems with Raw Monday. Yeah. And say, hey, we're going to do things <laughs> this way. I mean, they can pull, you know. So, uh, it, it, and the things that are a problem, and there's a lot of things going right with the company, too, as a company, right? And for all the criticisms that we have, has this money, lo- has this company lost money over it? No. And, they've gained money. And they've gained money over it. So, there's no incentive yeah. to fix the creative problems. And, but, so it really takes, when you're a company of this size, it's like Apple saying, you know, and I think Apple does this a little bit, um, you know, saying, hey, we're making all this money from the iPhone. What do we need to fix until yeah, they don't, until they don't nobody wants an iPhone anymore and they have nothing next? Right. I think I think the best thing, best thing right now with Derby and I love them before and I love them even more now is Bray Wyatt. Mm-hmm. And the fact is, we haven't physically seen them full all out in a match. And that's something since. that's in the can already, so yeah. you can't adjust that. Yeah, no, that's it's, what I, it's there. I've been thinking about that for a while. I'd be like, man, this is something we know that they filmed that here in Pittsburgh at the Douglas Academy. Yeah, um, where I'm fairly certain everything we've been seeing was was in the can. I think it mm-hmm. had to have been. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right? Uh, so there is a long form. We're going to do this for however many weeks. And the plan is do X, right? And maybe it's the thing where we did, you know, it could end up an Emelina situation. Who knows? Because that was a thing that a bunch was in the can. She yeah. came out and said, this is stupid. And she went I'm back like, to Emma. You know, I mean, I mean, who knows? Because of the way this stuff works, right? And everything is on a dime and, and, and presumably at the whim of an individual that may or may not <laughs> get at the whim of a madman. <laughs> So, um, all right, I'm just, I just quote random lines from Speed, apropos of nothing. Geez, Speed. Man. Yeah. Um, there, there's a lot of Keanu Reeves in my feed lately. I've been on a that's Keanu true. kick. That's true. It's like on every platform. It's It's been crazy. But anyways. Um, he's really John, He's really become Johnny Mononic. <laughs> he kind of has, hasn't he? Yeah, basically. Oh. Um, was that the <laughs> one where Ice-T was like a cat man? Is that the one I'm I think thinking? so. It's either that or Tank Girl. Uh, I, anyways. Oh, no. That was, that was, I think that was Tank Girl. That might have been Tank Girl. I might be yeah. confusing them. Which one did they talk to the dolphin? Nope. That was Sequest. Oh. Anyways, back around. <laughs> uh, back oh around. Back around. Um, but no, you know, other than the problems, you know, again, still mostly when we go to pay-per-views, I'm not counting this thing. I'm not counting the special events in the desert. Um, that has, to me, worked. Yeah. Right. It's just that televised product has not. And there's well, plenty of other stuff. Uh, not, uh, Harry, the pay-per-views don't 100% work. Uh, okay. Shane okay. McMahon still holds two, count them, two victories over The Miz. Yes, and now Roman and Reigns. he just got a third this week on SmackDown. The Miz tapped out Wow. to Shane's botchy triangle chokehold that he doesn't even know how to apply properly. Are you saying you have a better triangle troll code than him? I'm saying I've watched enough wrestling where, yes, I probably do. There you go. WrestleMania. Shane McMahon versus Matt Mike. Triangle troll code uh, mania. 
Oh, God. Best out of 20. Who taps the most? Who taps the most? Or just dies. Or is it just a a Texas death match where you have to (laughs) tap out and then count to 10? Yes. Which, by the way, Rise had one of the a phenomenal. Yep, I just edited it. Oh my <laughs> goodness! I, that was one of my best to call on commentary. That by was the way. fun. That was a lot of fun. That Lee Moriarty and Christian uh, Noir, uh, pretty good. I, it'll be up this week as soon as I can finish the damn thing. Uh, anyways, I'm about halfway through. I yeah. got to. Uh, well, I don't know if you saw the Who Wore It Better uh, with the cowboy hat. Yes, I did between me and Lawless. Yeah, you and Lawless. You I know what? Know. I never really thought about that until I, until I saw the uh, the collage. I, I, I still say I had it better. I think my cowboy. I mean, he had a better charismatic, but mine was more official and authentic and more little Nas X like. And that's why I'm trying to get shout out Nils, little Nas X, Billy Ray Cyrus, hook your boy up. You know, hit me up. You know, phone's right here. You're trying to do a collab, but yeah. Know. So I, I, we, I, I we know you're in the it. chat room. We know you're on the yeah. Facebook we know live. We, we know we know you're here. You know, I wait for you to hit me up on MySpace or you know my a my AIM. So I, you know, we'll talk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Don't be laughing at me, man. This is, this I'm, is I'm just real. wondering what your away message would be. That's all. <laughs> I'll be back in two years. Ah, nice. It's good. I think I think I've lost some pop culture references here. Uh, <laughs> so, um. Anyways, uh. So so that's happening. Um and uh and and Mike, you were right. That was like the coolest Undertaker entrance I think they've had mm-hmm. in a while. I told uh, you that was a Friday. really good entry. Also, uh, the hashtag to um, um, throw down in the desert um, this past Friday, I kept seeing as WWE SSD. So to me, that's uh, WWE Solid State Drive, and uh, I was really confused for the last couple mm-hmm. of weeks. Yeah, um, confused me. So, I, I again, I don't want to talk much about that, but it, it, they had a fifty-man battle royal, were and where they was, buried five current champions and, for, for a no name or an NXT. And it was, it was kind of a, a witness of of man. There's a lot of talent here that I'd never seen. Um, there was a tweet this week. A tweet that was how that was how AOP made their returns. Oh, that is that is actually. Um, mm-hmm. There was a a uh, back and forth tweet this week between Buddy Murphy and Cedric Alexander, where I think <laughs> they're going to be the team that used to wrestle. Um, I think oh, I did, I there's did, a whole I did faction see that for a second. Used to wrestle. What's, what's that? I did see that. I did see that for a I mean, second. Yeah, it was that was pretty good. Yeah. I love. I love. I love what somebody uh, shared that it was like uh, wrestling Twitter. Uh, uh, wrestling like Twitter is impressive than like the shows. Than wrestling. Yeah. 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 But yeah there, there is. Like, I think Cedric just tweeted, "I missed 205 live." <laughs> did he seriously? Someone did. I forget yeah. who it was. I forget if it was Cedric. If it was Buddy. Mm-hmm. If it was Ali, I forget who it was, but, it but someone is, tweeted, I missed 205 Live, and I don't blame them. It, it, it is a, you know, it doesn't, you know, I always say it's nice for WWE people to get a paycheck, right? Um, but it is also nice to be on television yeah. and work uh, and not just eat catering. It's, it's nice Even to know that you're, not, that you're taking bumps that matter. That's right. Wait, wait Rev, how, how is that catering? Absolutely amazing. Yeah? Amazing. I've heard good things. You're not eating the same thing for that that amount of time. So I was never so happy to like eat food and I was still getting paid at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> lamb on the lamb on the stick at one time. We had some we had some uh, some pork steak another time. All these vegetables. It, it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, I mean, even the, there was the elevator uh, scene. I feel that's a weird weird thing to say in a wrestling show. <laughs> um, and I didn't even realize Cedric was in the corner. <laughs> For like three segments to realize, like, oh shit, that's like, that's oh! Cedric. We didn't yeah. say anything either, hey! and the audio was so bad. I can't believe they put that thing on TV. They're just like, uh, like I kept shushing. I felt bad because I kept shushing, and missing. I'm like, I can't I hear can't this. Hear. Like, yeah, it's like why you know how I put subtitles on anytime I'm watching anything with a British accent. <laughs> I just need help sometimes. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's just it's just sad. Um, but. But again, they, they they have so much going on. I, I I think the big telling thing is going to be what happens when they move to Fox, and we'll see. And we'll have our no base. no no. I, I'm tired. We can't keep giving them outs. <laughs> is this an out though? Is this yes, what we're doing? It's an out. Okay, it's an out because it, because if that doesn't go well, then it'll be like, well, let's see what they do with Survivor Series, and when that I wonder like, how WrestleMania well, let's see what they is do with run Royal up. Rumble. Yeah, well, let's see what they do with WrestleMania, and the cycle continues. I feel like you you just sound like a disappointed father right now. I don't think there's any I am. hope for you. Listen, with that I'm not. Of. I'm not even mad anymore. 
Listen, I'm just upset. <laughs> I'm All of a sudden, I, I just feel scolded. Like I'm not mad. I'm I'm just upset. Yeah, I'm. Go I, to your room. Listen, wrestling TV is our wrestling baby, is the and... longest relationship I've ever had. Wow. No, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know whether to say all. We're about to get away. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Think about it, though. It's probably the same for all of us. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I had to kind of think of that for a second. Like, uh, when, I mean, what did you do for your wrestleversary? Like, hey, like, I, like, Sorg, I know you're a little different because you did take a break. Uh, sort of. Point. Sort of. What, did but you cheat on wrestling? I... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I stopped watching wrestling uh, in, my early, on wrestling in junior Juggalos. high and tried collecting baseball cards. Then realized it was stupid and stopped wa- started ros- watching wrestling again. Okay. Yes. So it, it didn't. That's didn't the short it. version. <laughs> <laughs> the short short version. That's the short version of it. No, but like think it like we like we've invested our time in this, and it's mm, just yeah. at this point I watch Raw out of habit. We've been watching wrestling on Monday nights for me since 1996. Yeah, so that is like, know, if we just count so that as our relationship, just that that that's a long. Listen, time. I've had a weekly Sorg. appointment on Monday night to watch wrestling yeah. in some capacity. Yeah, Sorg, I've watched 1,358 episodes of Raw last week. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's how many episodes of Raw have aired. I was gonna. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say. I was, I was like, where is he getting this number? <laughs> I'm very good with math. See, see I have like, not. Like, right after the show, he's on the counter like, hmm, okay. All right. See, I have not. See, see, the, and, that, and that's why I floated away from it, because I did not have cable, and Raw became a ah. thing. Oh, yeah. That's why I left, because yeah. I ha- I was getting these magazines and hearing all this stuff happening, and then all I had was Saturday morning, and then my, ta- my, my video store stopped carrying, like, they would not carry more than the big four yeah. for tapes. So I didn't know what happened to King of the Ring. Yeah. Right? And I didn't have pay-per-view. Right? So I was a destitute country boy that couldn't get his pro wrestling. I, 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 <laughs> you I remember, don't go messing with a country boy. No, I, I remember very distinctly, I almost quit high school football. And I was like one of our 60-minute men that I was on offense, defense. I was, our, I was our kicker and everything because I was that darn good. And I was the savior of football football been not pro wrestling but i almost quit because that was then when they moved smackdown from thursday to friday and our high school football games <laughs> on friday night and, and I you're com- like i can't do I this i completely flipped out i said i can't do this no this isn't happening Did they and anybody- i really almost quit god is, is, is that when you learned about the vcr that's what I, I was like this thing is amazing i will binge watch it right after the game there you go yeah but there if i go. didn't do that i guarantee i probably would have quit <laughs> I probably would have quit right on the spot. Right at halftime, like I'm going home. It's eight. It's eight p.m. I'm going home. I think I was also into bowling, and that's when Wrestling Challenge was on Saturdays. So that uh, also kind of messed with me a little bit. So plus, see now if you were smart and they had the fancy bowling alley with the big screens above every lane, you would have you would have there you, you know, go there you go kind of tweaked no, it out it a little bit. Very not fancy. Very not oh, fancy. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Ooh. no rock and glow for you, sword. No rock and glow. But it did have that Ninja Turtles arcade uh, machine, which also. Oh, can we talk about that for a second? Yeah, we didn't bring it up on Awesome Cast. No, but we did. Listen, Sorg, listen, Sorg. I burn. Note. I pine. I perish. I listen, these it. one-up arcade units have just just turned the corner for me. You have the the Marvel the Marvel superheroes with the X Men. I don't care about Punisher. that. One. Oh, no, no, that was good. But then you have the but Ninja the... Turtles cabinet with the four players and Ninja mm-hmm. Turtles and Ninja Turtles uh, Turtles in, in time. time. In time. You yeah. have my attention. I need it. And I need, I need to come up with 350 it. bucks. I, I'm going uh, to put it on my wedding registry. And all of a sudden, <laughs> you saw Michael Sorg on the corner. And then I have to ask. And then I have to ask, where is my WrestleFest? I don't need mm. WrestleFest. I need Turtles. I Well, I need, I need Turtles. The only thing I need but more I than like Turtles is Revolution X, where music is the weapon. I feel like the more we talk <laughs> about I Turtles, I think about that viral video, like the Turtle Kid. Like, I like Turtles. Oh, geez. Uh, and that kid grew up to be Mitch McConnell. And on that note, because, God, we need to change this. Uh, there's a <laughs> lot going on over at IndieWrestling.us, IndieWrestling.network. Of course, most recently we had put up, what was the last show we put up? We put up a recent uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling. Um, there was a recent uh, RWA went up last week with No Retreat uh, that had Offa Jr. 
Yes. I mean, there was a clip going around of him killing the ref. And I believe that was also your tag match. Rest in peace. Teaming up with uh, Chris Taylor. Yeah, that was that was a uh, that was a that, blast. That was a big one that uh, a lot of us did not see coming. And uh, I mean, I think we we talked about it here, and and Chris, I've hit you up. I mean, two plus years, easily two plus years of us going back and forth over at least two promotions and several at charity least shows. Two promotions. <laughs> so I, I I really think our feud hit every single Pittsburgh company. Now that I think about it, uh, not everyone. Um, um except for KSWA Many of them. and not IWC. We no, we hit IWC. Why'd you hit IWC? That was a charity when when you, you oh, filmed that, my, my, that wasn't an IWC show. Yes, that was. Was it was it was it was it was it I was it an IWC entrance okay, in the ring? Okay, technically maybe. Yeah, I don't count that. <laughs> but yeah, that we, we we hit we hit some uh, we hit some decent ones, and uh, it finally came back to where you know uh, even at the uh, the charity show um, that they had for uh, Connor's Cure, I believe mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. was two. Um, you know, Chris came back as one of my open challenge partners. You know, he, he still had a lot in him, which, by the way, by the age that he is, he's not slowing down one bit. Uh, eventually, I said, you know, I thought it was right to bring him back. We end up tagging with each other, which I don't think any of the crowd expected. Uh, and we end up winning against Ryan Edmonds and, uh, and Jordan Styles. And um, listen, that, that match, when I tell you I have never been in front of a hotter crowd than that, you're talking about probably 10 minutes later between the bell and us actually going face to face. It's just nothing but the crowd having bunch of soccer chance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it was, you say what word? I mean, it, it was, it was, it was a great experience in a great environment. And uh, we end up winning and that cause for what we just had in our, our, our previous event for, uh, I believe it's RWA Unfor- it was un- RWA un- Unforgiven. No, 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 no. It was, um, Oh, I'm sorry. I don't remember it now either. RWA. Unbreakable? So was it Unbreakable, maybe? No. No, that sounds like a bad Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to like do Day Alive. Uh, yeah. uh, I yeah. apologize. This is the next on, this is the next one on my edit list. So. Let, me, let, me, let me see. I'll, 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 I'll tell you. Unleashed. Right Unleashed. Unleashed. Hey, Unleashed. You, you had the un part. Oh, so Unleashed. it's a bad disturbed album. Yeah, yeah, this, one, this is the one that we're talking about. Look at, look at them front and center on there. Yes, look just at that. Overlooking everybody. Oh, my goodness. Just like the savior of professional wrestling that I am. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so so RWA Unleashed that that Why led all Ryan the way Edmund up to. Ryan Edmonds still have long hair. What is up? With I ju- you know I ju- I was asking Doctor Phil bad that, and I still never got an answer. Why <laughs> Why does Ryan Mitchell still have hair? Yeah, nobody has hair except for Chris. His yeah. face never changed. <laughs> but <laughs> but yes, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Looks like an looks like an overweight Chad from uh from uh Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious! Hey, someone's gonna say something about me. Everyone keeps calling me the uh, the Jamie Foxx for wrestling. I guess it's all us black guys look the same right? between Jamie Foxx and Will Smith. So, um, but but yeah, <laughs> going going back to it. R- R- Anyways, R R W A Unleashed and, and end up opening up for Chris Taylor to to uh to fight Ryan Edmonds. Uh, Ryan Mitchell came came back. And uh, the Still City Project, Ryan Mitchell came back. He was a special guest referee. Uh, we had Ashton Amherst. We, we had him on uh, um, uh, commentary. So we had the whole entire circle, the original, the circle, uh, back in the ring for, for like probably the first and last time. And what a phenomenal freaking match. Mm-hmm. Unreal. About 25 minutes. I, w- I would say, now, to be honest, and, and, and if you get a chance to watch this without editing, please watch this. I would say it was like Dustin Rhodes versus Cody Rhodes on crack. <laughs> what? Ima- imagine. I don't that. know. Mike just yawned at you. <laughs> so the blood was a little bit thinner. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Yes. Ah. Uh, ah. Yes. Uh, it, 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 was, it was. It was. It was great. It was great. Uh, <laughs> not. Not so much after. I think all of us were beat up and sore, but well, it was great. Check about that. We'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more. Uh, but check out everything at you, Andy Wrestling. Us, Andy Wrestling. Dot and uh, the Andy Wrestling. Us uh, Facebook and YouTube page. YouTube. We are putting out a lot of free wrestling for you guys to check out uh, right now. And also, we just started posting um, matches from the from the Ashes show of uh, the uh, Sean Phoenix uh, benefit show. I don't want to say Memorial. <laughs> I oh, keep, oh, I, I keep my. accidentally well, saying, geez. Well, somebody called it a tribute well, show. Someone thought Dark no, Phoenix. no, somebody called it a tribute show on commentary. I'm just like, that means something different. Uh, so, oh, I don't think I was when on I was commentary. At, no, no, you weren't on that. Right, but that uh, <laughs> I won't call him out. But, um, but no, it was interesting. 
But anyways, uh, well, one of the, we, we've been a little bit here, but I want to catch up with you, Rev. You got a lot going on. I yeah. know, um, you know, we, we we obviously have talked in the past about your involvement with Ring of Honor. You've mm-hmm. definitely floated around there, here and there as well. There seems to be a lot of ROH Dojo people come around Pittsburgh as well. So yeah. there's a lot of movement happening there. And I know, uh, and you know, we kind of briefly talked with Mike on one of the shows before about this. And and uh, so so what what is the latest other than beating up Zeke Mercer? Uh, oh, again man. in a couple months i'm just trying to i'm just trying to get him some money but uh. <laughs> <laughs> book, yeah let's put that out there guys book zeke mercer he is he is you know I, he he is nothing more than zeke mercer yeah like he is like young kid in tights that can go yeah. right and, no no I, I i agree i think i definitely underestimated him for the, for the first time you know uh, go around, but everything I threw at him, you I did mean, call call him an Ethiopian. So. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I, I think I think I said he was it. from Zimbabwe. I, <laughs> then I called him Ethiopian, and five cents a day, you can feed this starving Nigerian child. Uh, <laughs> he is tiny. He is tiny, but man, he can put it away at an Applebee's. Yeah, can he? Uh, I think so. A little spaghetti, a little spaghetti pasta. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean um, you know, a, a lot of great things are in the. Uh, are, are, are in the mix. Um, you know, I've, I've been very fortunate with kind of getting around to a couple things that are on my bucket list. And um, right now, you know, I feel like I'm in a, a, a very good point where I'm just trying to give my all at whatever opportunity, you know, um, comes upon me. So myself, uh, just recently from from the Pittsburgh ish area, uh, myself, uh, the Savage Gentleman, Victor Benjamin, and uh, Lady Frost, we were all three of us carpooled down to. Uh, Baltimore, Maryland, around Baltimore, Maryland area for the Ring of Honor Dojo, their, their last uh, tryout in a seminar, and very solid overall. I think it was one of the best overall, just in general, um, mm-hmm. from uh, one of their executive producers, Delirious, that he said he's that they've been doing since the start was that was like the best one. Um, I, I love I love when I hear like Delirious is involved, and unfortunately, I remember watching Delirious matches. <laughs> well, well, here, well, here's the thing: when 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 by by me saying like him saying like this is the best one so far. It's more like, and then you have to have right, like right. A, a book to to. Oh, fully. so you speak delirious then? You know what? It took me a little bit when I studied abroad. I had to kind of pick it up because I knew where I wanted oh. to be. And, and, so. I, and I know there's not much like I, I don't think he does. You don't see him on TV too much. I think he's popped up in like uh, maybe some New Japan Battle Royals or yeah. maybe the All In One or something. If, yeah, if, if, I know he's at one of those. So please look him up, Delirious Daisy Hayes. Just like, look up Delirious meeting Chris Jericho. Oh yes, <laughs> that will tell you everything you need to know to get whatever references we're making all, right now. All, yeah. in, all in, fact, in one. I, oh, hold on. What? Oh, you have? Something. Oh no, <laughs> I love. I love. Like, what can we pull from? Oh no, you have a delirious mask. Yes. He's gonna love you. Yes, forever. I do. There it is. There it is. I I got this. It was the last one he had. At least yeah. that's what I was able to glean from his talking. That, that's when you were in and Pittsburgh. That, yes, this is when I was in Pittsburgh. This is one of the first wrestling souvenirs I've ever bought at an indie show. Nice. Nice selection, though. That was a good pick. Yeah. Mm. Like, it was this and a, and a Gambino Brothers winter hat. I need to find mine. That's a warm hat. It's a very warm it is hat. a very warm hat. I support the Gambinos. But anyways, <laughs> about that. But you were at the, the after translating Delirious, we were yeah. getting to. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually, that was actually when I was studying abroad. You know, I was actually trying to find out more about Zeke Mercer, but then I I crossed over to another border, and then I was in the land of Delirious, and that's a land you not many come back. But then I learned how to speak Delirious, so that's so that's what was said out of that. But uh, we have some some so real, every, everything's turning up the ref. Every everything, every single thing. But yeah, so I mean, it, it, all all good, all good things in the mix. Um, we we have some things that that I'm you know I'm trying to work on right now. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, it's just all about investing, investing, investing. And I don't know if you if you guys see on on you know all my social media, especially Twitter, um, I'm talking about a lot of just you got to invest, you got to invest in the best, you got to do what you got to do, and uh, that's 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 what we're doing. So I think it's going to pay out in the long run. Before the end of 2019, I promise you guys, it's more than likely going to pay out uh, at at the end of the at the end of the day. That's like, uh, speaking of. You got you got something over there. Yeah. What do you, oh, what do you got over there? Talking about talking what, about my, you were, my, you said you're gonna you're, you're teasing us on something over here. My uh, so this this bag. Let me see. I'll try to put up this bag right it here. It's heavy. I I've lifted this. Thing. It's it's very heavy. You almost pulled your your shoulder out of socket. That's right. 
everything that is in this bag is everything that the world needs. The world cannot survive with what is in this bag. And I have it in my hands. It's going to forever stay in my hands. And I will tell you this, Sorg. The time that you guys know what's in this bag is the time that the rest of the world is going to know what's in this bag. The world. I want you to remember that. So when that time comes, you're going to be like, man, the Rev is a genius. We, we, we don't know how. He's a genius. Just remember that. So all I gotta say, invest in the best. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. We just gotta keep an eye out. You gotta follow keep an the eye rev. Out. Yeah. See where you end up. Yeah. Okay. You never right. know. I might end up over there with Mad Mike. Just magically pop up up, you know, right behind him like the boogeyman or something. You never know, man. I'm omnipresent. I'm the savior of professional wrestling. Look, 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 look at a Blakely yeah. staring. I, I, I don't want to turn around. So you never know, because I could be here and there at the same time. That's that's what I'm worried about. I'm, I'm worried if like if I turn around right now, I'm like, hold on, I'm trying to. Okay, I can see behind me directly because of my camera video feed. I'm in the clear. Okay, it's just the Undertaker. It's just the Undertaker. Yes, the Undertaker or the Bundertaker. Oh no, the Undertaker. <laughs> you don't know the, the Bundertaker, Bundertaker was a nickname I had in college. No, Wait, what? <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. It was a bad joke. The bun the Bundertaker was uh was a wrestler around the time when I think they had it was a whole big WrestleMania weekend. Uh and uh he, he was this guy and had this guy that was talking like Paul Heyman and he came out to like this trap Undertaker theme music. Uh that was absolutely amazing. It was so amazing that when Chris LaRusso and I had our second match at Black Diamond, I used that same theme as my second match and I came up with Druids. That was that was that theme. That's where I got it from. The Bundertaker. You got to watch it after this. It's a viral video. It's, yeah, the it's Bundertaker. The Bundertaker. They could, condiments carried them out. Ketchup and mustard. The guys dressed in ketchup and mustard carried out this, this guy that was dressed in, as a hot dog. This sounds familiar now. Yeah. It's scary that this sounds familiar. Well, no, yeah. you're thinking of the condiment king, Sorg. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're also thinking of John Moxley. Uh, oh, yeah, that's he right. He came out with the hot dog cart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Wait, is the Bundertaker time. John Moxley? Or did John Moxley become the Bundertaker? Oh, bro. God. Let's, let's do a deep dive on this. <laughs> <laughs> let's do a deep dive As on a... this. Let, let's break it the fuck down. Um, Three hour podcast. Let's do it. Rev, I, I know. I know. So, <laughs> obviously, we've talked about your skill sets, acting. You, you're, you're, if anybody has Hulu, you can, you can catch the Rev uh, oh, in the background yeah. there at Castle Rock. Uh, the uh, of course, you're on the you're 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 on camera on the news. Yeah, you're you're I I've seen you uh, tap on my window, security guarding across across that. You're everywhere. I'm, I'm everywhere. At the <laughs> you're same everywhere. Time. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I remember that because I think I was about to yell at you. Then I was yeah, going, yeah. and I'm like, oh god, this guy's gonna yell at me. I'm like, oh shit, it's a rep. <laughs> um, you're like, go but, figure. I'm not surprised. But more recently, um, you you have uh, tried your hand at uh, singing. Yeah, and well, actually, I found out about your rap career too, which we've been having some discussions about. Uh, we, That's what I found out about you your found rap out about career. My rap, my rap career. We got to collab. It man. scares me that somebody put our old music video on the Beast Man's page um, recently. It might <laughs> so, be his new theme one day. You oh, never know. Oh man, if only we'd have to have. I do have an edited version of that. But anyways, um, you you were you were singing re- recently. And I understand it went very, very well. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I had a guitar too. <laughs> uh huh. So I, th- I think sort. Making a play for Elias's uh, a deal, or uh, you know, uh... we we can have a little ebony ivory connection. Uh- <laughs> I can, I can, I can see this. So Pittsburgh guys and yeah. um... the Oreo connection. The char- <laughs> yeah. it, I'm it, sure it, that'll get through the censors. Oh, it, it'll, it'll, it'll go. It'll of course. Go. But, but yeah, yeah, I had to, I had to wrestle a guy from uh, from Tennessee, JDL, John David, Lou Allen. I knew he was watching. I can a, never remember bit. what it stands for. Yeah, I just seriously when I do the title, I just like JDL. Just, well, I, I guess so. I, asked, I was like, I was like, is that really your name? Like, yeah, it's really my name. Like, oh, yeah, I love it, John David Lou Allen. That makes sure you say that five times fast. So John David Lou Allen. John David Lou Allen is is how he how he says it. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, big big you know, pride of the South. That's his name, pride of the South. John David Lee Allen, the JDL, and uh, you know the the South and I don't get along as as well. So, <laughs> so 
Woo! Just as a general statement. Yeah, just as a general uh, general a, statement. I mean, I, I just, I just, you know, I just think of like, you know, uh, uh, what was that? What was that movie? Uh, Deliverance with the ban- <laughs> with the battle of banjo. So, ding, 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 ding. so yeah. there was a video that went out, and there's a little bit of you guys if you're on video. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not gonna throw the audio up because we're, we're really not tied in right for it. But um, uh, you are. <laughs> he's wearing a cowboy hat. <laughs> he's got, he's got a guitar. Oh I, boy! In a candy yingling, apparently. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many are uh, on the floor that he had before this video. His little yingling um, had had a, had a debut of my of my foot somewhere in there somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So so yeah, that was a uh, that was one of the promos there. I was talking about his uh, his uh, aunt his uh, bare, barefooted Bertha, uh, which is one of his aunts and his sister cousin, uh, Billy Bob. And uh, yeah, this sounds like a great like wait, book. Wait, wait, are you missing a toe? Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if you can pause hold it so weird there. Hold on. I just saw it. Oh, yeah, I know. So, so, so why, on. so why are you five? There this? you go. So this will pop up in a second for you guys on video. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't paused on it. Oh, that got. Well, it just went by. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, is there a story? I, I'm curious now. Yeah, there, there's what? a. So there's not much of a story. So, so believe it or not, I was I was actually born three. Well, I could totally tell crazy stories, and you guys would probably believe, it, especially with that that image. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but so so I mean, it wasn't any fun typical rev story. I was actually born three uh, three months premature, oh. uh, two pounds two ounces, and that was legit the only birth defect that I had. Uh, which I was like, cool. Which I, no one at RWA even knew that I had four toes until that until that promo came out. So, <laughs> to where the booker was like, "Hey, man, that that, that foot looked real as ever, man. That's some great. <laughs> that he's, foot looks yeah, real. <laughs> he, he's he's thinking like, oh yeah, the rev works for TV. He knows special effects. <laughs> he was like, man, that really looked real. Your foot looked real. How did you hide your fifth toe? And I was like, well, it's just been hidden for all of my life, like." <laughs> I was, like, I was like, this is a straight shoot, man. Like, no, like, like, like no toe. I, I'm sad now that it's out there oh. because you something could have happened where it got revealed during a match. Yeah. And 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 sold sold something just you know, I don't know. Gore, I could I like, like Jason you Corey do that. You could have someone to like try and work your foot, but they're stomping on the area where there's no toe and you can completely no sell it. Or 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 like oh Gory has God. has bitten feet before. Has like and you yeah. pull it off and be like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just have like blood. <laughs> man. Man. So are you saying you should are you saying Rev should pull an Adams family? An Adams family? Were th- were they ha- in the in the Adams with, family with the, movie with the where, hand? It, where Pugsley and Wednesday had, had a had a stage play and they had detachable limbs. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Like like we could attach a gummy toe. A gummy toe. Oh, That's oh not gosh. a gummy toe. A gummy toe. So is this like a gummy worm but a toe? A gummy toe. Listen, when yeah. you, you know, when they you, make them. When you don't have lucha underground budgets, you you work with what you got. And we got something there. We got something in your foot over there. Listen, listen and, and when we don't have Lucha Underground to watch, my ideas have to go somewhere. Yes. Oh boy, and it goes right to my <laughs> foot. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm just, I'm just taking what's thrown at me. <laughs> so, like, when someone does something real good, and they're like, "Man, they really put their foot in it." It's like, no, like the Rev really put his foot in it. Yeah, yes. all nine toes, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and you, you got a new catchphrase. Nine deep. Nine deep. That sounds like that, that's the how you know when you're putting both feet website in website that someone will ever go to. I think I think that website is owned by Pornhub. Nine deep dot com. I don't want to go <laughs> yeah. to it. I don't want to go to it. Well, that stutters later. <laughs> um, Just keep the safe search on. You'll be fine. <laughs> um. On that note, Rev. And yes, Ooh. Jordan Sorg does rap. Yes. Yes. It's- Look this out! Is slowly come out. Poo. Look out! The monkey flings poo. Actually, look up monkey flings poo and crap. That was actually the very first one on that YouTube. I listened to. I believe. I mean, that's the one everybody listens. Yeah. That's the one everyone listens to. I mean, it, that's... it's the primary. Were you guys YouTube, throwing toilet YouTube. paper in that video? Yeah, we were. Yeah, it's I like it was like way. a yeah, it was like a juggalo show, but we. Threw How you doing? Paper. Good so, to see you. Were you just saying hello? Yeah. What are you waving at? Yeah. Like there's just people. <laughs> you're just. He's making friends. 
You're as a Wait, I don't guy. see anybody but your reflection. She, Are you she okay? Was, she was there. She was she there. Was, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not seeing stuff, man. Oh, she was there. <laughs> All right, we need we need to rev the cool off and uh, <laughs> or, or go say hi to whoever was outside yeah. and uh, give a shout out to our friends Slice on Broadway, SliceOnBroadway dot com, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza here in Beachview, the original right up the street from us, Carnegie PA East End and PNC Park home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, and again, I know a lot of you are not in the Pittsburgh area. We got our friends on the West Coast in the in the in in Middle America. I don't know what do you call Kansas City. Is it the Midwest technically? Mid, middle, middle America. The adopt a stop. Tornado Alley. State I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it just scared me when I was out there. Uh, I'm glad you made it back, though. I made it back. I don't think we're going back. Barely. Too many, but... too many tornado scares when we did those those events. Anyways, um, there was a point. Oh, yes. Uh, our unofficial uh, campaign for our friends at Slice. Obviously, they started with one location. They're at four right now, including a Major League Baseball stadium, if that still means anything these days. Um... <laughs> Sports ball. But not anyways, in your town, Sork. Not in my town. No, not in my town. Let me tell you about the Altman's Ultimate Frisbee League, though. Uh, the Thunderbirds. Uh, and I don't think that's the right name for it. But um, but anyways, the point is, if you're somewhere else and you have a Broadway in your town, I want you to take a picture of that Broadway sign. I want you to hit up PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter and say, I want to slice on my Broadway and help them with their global expansion. Because they're not done yet. There's no way they're done yet. Good pizza needs to come to all. And especially you guys in California. You guys are desperately in need. Uh, anyways, uh, so please, basically anybody west of the Mississippi might have a pizza problem. And Slice can help you. Uh, so let's uh, do that. Slice I on Broadway. I actually second that motion. I've, uh, I've become a very good fan of Slice on Broadway. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Go check it out. SliceOnBroadway.com. Thank you for supporting the show. You're going to hear a Dutter's voice for a little bit. And then we'll be right back with the big question. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're still rolling along here. Ah, I just said the thing that I hate. I hate when they say rolling along. And, Come on, and, uh, with SmackDown, just, rolls on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> uh, Mad Mike's with us. Oh, wait, that's that's Mad Mike. Hey, I was going to say, Mad Mike got tan, man. <laughs> yeah. a, little, a little handsome there, good. too, yeah. Yeah. I grew from the American Kevin Owens to, like, not <laughs> now, now now you're now you're the uh the uh the byron the byron <laughs> oh no oh, no. no i love byron you got a friend of mine byron's awesome byron's great and not because oh, we're both you black and we're both in media stuff <laughs> you See? have not seen his fcw stuff it, it was what i'd I rather be abraham he wasn't was oh oh yeah poor, poor abraham man abraham washington could have been a thing Man, yeah, he really could have. He was on a good roll. Yeah. He really could have. He said whatever thing that somebody hated, and I feel like I feel like crazy. then like Abraham Washington was, uh, yeah. I mean, I did. I didn't mind him. I didn't mind him. But mm. uh, it it could have it could have had a little bit more legs to it. Yeah, absolutely. Anyways, that was the point of starting the show again. <laughs> so, uh, it is time for the big question and. As I was reminded, by the way, we got some news oh, uh, since last time we did the main show. Our good friend DJ Z bah, 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 bah. is now known as our good friend Walking Walking Wild. Bah, 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 bah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so we get have crazy get wild. Bah, 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 bah. There you go. We're oh, working on this Jersey Shore mix. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, listen, we're gonna help this guy out. I, he, I'm going to. Hey, if I can name the hype bros, I can help an actual friend of the show. That's right. That's right. I will just say things. I will speak things into existence if I have to. Listen, we we that's what the secret's about, right? We've watched same shit. We've watched our 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 IW our, our local Pittsburgh faithful here skyrocket in the form of Elias. We're ready to see DJ Z, Shima Zion, bah, 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 bah. Zima Ion, Walking Wild, Michael Paris, whatever he is this week. Uh, uh, freaking skyrocket this thing. Um, but so, so that that's one thing that's happened. This one development with one of the friends of the show here. Uh, and uh, also, I was reminded by Tina in the chat room. Um, <laughs> speaking of Jordan, uh, ACH is now known as Miles Jordan. Uh, so Miles with a Y. So don't think that he's Spider Man. Uh, so I mean, to be fair, if you've seen ACH wrestle. You can think he's Spider-Man. He's practically, he's practically yeah. Spider-Man. Let's be honest about this. Um, 
<laughs> Has he done comic book? He's been more anime, from what I recall, right? Yeah, but look, it's Spider Verse. It's it's a blending. That is true. That is true. There's SPDR. What? SPDR. What's SPDR? The robot. Oh yeah, yeah. There was that. The anime robot. I can remember the name. That's amazing. Um, Sorg, I've watched that movie a lot. No, I've watched and it. Now that it's lot. coming on I, Netflix, I'm going to fall asleep to it every night. I already <laughs> do because I bought it on digital. Um, and I listen to the soundtrack at least once a day. Uh, but anyways, uh, <laughs> so. Even left in the dust. <laughs> Oh, I got an elephant. I got an elephant. Um, okay. <laughs> I've, I've, been, I've been mishearing one of those songs, and it's been our internal gag. Uh, anyways, it's not about Spider-Man. Not about Spider-Man. Anyways, it NXT. It to be, though. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you silenced him. So, this happens all the time. Uh, so, anyways, my question is, obviously, people go to the WWE. The names change, sometimes a little later than others. Sorry, Ray Rowe. Uh, that's, uh, that, uh, that would be that would be Eric. That would be Eric. With a K. With a K. Eric. Eric with a K. I don't make fun of Ray Rowe, because one, he's scary. Uh, <laughs> I make fun of what has happened to him. Uh, I, st- and I still get a title shot at some point. You still get a title shot. You know, shot. if he was giving up the tag titles, he should have given them up to me. Now, partner of my choosing. There you go. There you go. He he, he's scared. Not He's the, scared. Not the street profits. Um, He's just scared. Over the years, there's been several name changes. So my question for this week, working on the wording, um, what has been, do you think, the most beneficial of NXT name changes for an incoming talent? Ooh. Uh, Woof. Yeah? There's yeah? There's not many options. There's not many options? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, um ooh. so as opposed to their indie name or like a name that changed from NXT. Yeah, who Lost. who kind of had a better brand upgrade from their indie name to their WWE all rights reserved? Oh, name? well, all right. Um I mean oh, I would say Sami Zayn, easy. but I would say that's an easy one. I would say Sami Zayn, but I don't know what his name was before. I don't think he wrestled before. No, no. I it's like he appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> and, and, but it's strangely, this guy from like uh, Generico, Mexico, disappeared. It's so odd. He's helping puppies. Oh, that's right. Um, uh, Roman Reigns. Really? What was Roman Ro- Reigns beforehand? Layaki. No way. Yeah, that is yeah. L e a k e e. Looks like Leaky. Pronounced Layake. Oh, that is a beneficial upgrade. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even think. I wasn't even thinking that far back. I was he, well. He, you he have to think back, that yeah. far back because a lot of the names, like I don't know, I mean, I could think of some others probably. If you want to go, all right, we'll give you a minute. Current. We'll give you a minute. What about yeah. you? What about you, Rev? <clears throat> so how? So are so are we going back from it? Just doesn't like even just like NXT or FCW then to main. I, I, I can say you know yeah F- FCW NXT and again this is like they came in NXT got a name change you know much like you know DJZ yeah is rah, 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 rah. walking walking wild. <laughs> Uh, this is a... Also, a side note, because I, I had this germ of an idea, is Walking Wild related to Taylor Wild? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Wow, you're really digging deep in the TNA oh, archives for that one. Third that cousin twice removed. That's right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Nice. We're, in, we're in West Virginia form the uh, sister cousin. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, right, no. Okay. He is from West Virginia. Um, well, technically, I'm not from West Virginia. I just work. In West no, I mean, DJ uh, Z walking wild. Damn it! This is gonna oh, be rough for me. It. All right, I, I would, I would say. Um, can I say John Cena? Let's <laughs> <laughs> oh, go to let's go to back a while, but well, okay. Well, because John Cena was never in NXT. No, yeah, I mean, Don C is his real name. I don't think you can count that. I mean, I mean, going from but the he prototype. He he yeah, he you're talking about going. He from, didn't go in as the prototype, though. No, but in developmental, he was a prototype. Yeah, but I'd argue the prototype's a better name. <laughs> so, 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 do, so do you think... Like, do, I'd, I'd argue that. One match only, the prototype in The Rock. I, I can't I can't vibe with it. Like, just give I me just the... The Marine starring the prototype doesn't work for me. Like, can, uh, you, can you imagine a prototype having a rap album and, like, they're <laughs> featured on Sorg's album? What? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, here's, a, here's a good upgraded name. Kevin Owens. Yeah, you like it better Kevin than Kevin Steen. Uh, because because the name meant something to him. Yeah, 
because okay. he was a big fan of Owen Hart and his son's name Owen. That's an upgrade for me. Yeah. Okay. I dig that. I dig that. Um, I'm gonna go with Prince Bal uh, Prince Finn Balor is a better name than Prince Devitt. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. No. Ooh, I don't know about that. No, I don't know about yeah, that. I think on that one. That's a, it's a tight one. It's it's a more marketable one. I'll give you that. Yeah, but I didn't understand Prince Devitt. That's because you didn't watch New Japan then. Okay. No, um, I mean like like, I think someone coming in automatically calling himself a prince like. That's worked many times. True, true. Um, Tina's bringing up, and again, this is outside the the NXT realm, but I completely was thinking about this one too when we brought up the other one. Uh, remember the Leviathan? Oh, yeah, Batista. Oh. Well, even even Deacon Batista. Deacon Batista. <laughs> I could like I could use a Deacon Batista, you know. Oh, actually, you know what we were talking about before, Velveteen Dream. Yeah, oh. Patrick Clark. Yeah, what is a Patrick Clark? Well, re- exactly. well, really, well, really, he wasn't he wasn't Patrick Clark because I, I was I wasn't great friends. I was just acquaintances. He was Rick Powers uh, when it, it was him and Leo Rush because Leo Rush then I think was just Lionel uh, Lionel Green I believe. So it was Rick Powers and Lionel Green as Power. I think it was Power Rush or really. Um, I th- he was Patrick Clark on NXT though before. Well, was yeah. he? Well, he was on Tough yeah. Enough too, so I think yeah. they just carried yeah. it over. So I, yeah, it, they, they took his real name. And nobody, I don't think anybody does gimmick names on Tough Enough. Like it's all no, yeah, all right? straight, all no, straight yeah. name. So but yeah, when he when he was uh, when him and uh, Leo Rush uh, primarily got started when they were at MCW, it was uh, Rick Powers and Lionel Green, and I was like Rick Powers. I'm like, where does that come from? Man? But. uh yeah, so Velveteen Dream. I take that. That is that is an up. I think that's, that's an, an upgrade. upgrade. Yeah, that's an upgrade for sure. And huh. he he ran with it. That's straight money. Uh huh. I think I remember. I remember a, a, a article. John Cena said that you know. I guess they were asking like, who do you feel has it right now? Yeah. And like right off the cuff, he's like Velveteen Dream. He's a that's the next. Uh, I'm sorry to go back to this, but again, kind of re- catching up on NXT leading into the pay per view. There was a point where I think Tyler Breeze said to him, "It says, um, you." You you made the call and nobody answered. <laughs> we, when he had the tights, that said, "Yeah, call, call me, me up, Vince. Vince." And then nobody answered. Like the yeah, whole like, that, nobody. That yeah, me. yeah. I mean, was... to be fair, they literally almost called up everyone else from that show except him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, look around, look at the landscape. You know, maybe you're good. Oh doing... no, I uh, yeah. he should yeah. he should never be called just... up. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. I to mean, him. I kind of wish Finn was just still down there hanging out. I, I, wish th- I think every... a lot of times, like a lot of people were talking about, you know. Yeah, it'll be great. Oh, this person, you know, why do they deserve this? But it was like, like we said, like uh, NXT still needs those big people. You know, those yeah, girls, like the, let that be their the thing. NXT brand people. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, like, it's funny. We, we were saying like everyone Shayna has beaten has gotten called up. Mm-hmm. I honestly think Shayna is the only one out of those group of people. That were ready for the main roster, and I also wonder if um, maybe she would have been if Ronda stuck around. Um, I think she would have been called up if Ronda wasn't there at all. Oh, if Ronda never showed up, Shayna would have been called up. I mean, uh, poor uh, uh, what's her name that I can't remember right now, Sonya Deville. Yeah, Sonya Deville, I think, is really lost in the shuffle. Yeah, because mm-hmm. of that, because of the Ronda Rousey situation. Yep. Yeah. So. You know, uh, plus then they did hire three other MMA girls. Well, I, so. I think I think it's one of the things that right now. I don't know kind of what is happening. And uh, a lot of them, I feel like now, like WWE are just like, let's just grab this person, this person, this person. They're just grabbing everyone and just storing them to the side like a yeah. squirrel with, the, with its yeah. nuts until, you know, because they don't want other people to grab them. I want to talk about that, too. And, and, and I kind of have a, 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 some thoughts. I, actually, NXT Ring of Honor connection, because obviously, you know, we've seen a lot with that. Um, hey, we're going off. We're going off question here, but this counts, I think. Um, Oscar sounded better than Kana when the announcer stretches it from Potter. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Tina saying C.J. Parker to uh, Juice, Juice Robinson. Robinson. Uh, also, to be just, fair, to be fair, anything sounds better than C.J. Parker. That is true. I kept thinking C.J. Parker was Lana's real name, 
Because isn't it CJ something? CJ Perry. CJ, CJ Perry. Yeah. And, and in my head, I confused that for a good while. I always thought CJ Parker was Pamela Anderson's character on Baywatch. Um, Athena to Ember Moon was a good transition. No, I, hard to see. I, I like the hard Athena. I, I, I don't. I love the. I like the Athena thing. Yeah, and I just I'm looking at it now. Don't know. I still don't know what Ember Moon is. I I don't. She's a wolf. <laughs> yeah. No, Sarah Logan's a wolf. <laughs> I don't know. Baron like, Corbin is a wolf. I don't know if it's her level of buy-in or WWE's level of buy-in into yeah. her character, but to me, something still disconnects with that. She's great. Yeah, I think she's great. I, I think the and fact that she calls herself Athena on Up, Up, Down, Down is very Does dumb. she? That's good. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Because they all have nicknames on that show, and she's like, call me Athena. I'm she's like, one of those. That's a my name. Uh, oof, man, that's <laughs> okay. Okay. I want to get get back to some other thoughts that we have had. Um, and I actually had a half brain thought that I don't think I got around to um, from before. But in the meantime, I do want to give a shout out to open the doc, open the doc, open the doc. Producer Missy has been talking to our previous guests outside for the duration of the show. That's why <laughs> we don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, shout out to our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling. Hey, Pro Wrestling is a wild and crazy art form. And Occupy Pro Wrestling is here to look at what makes it fun. Featuring articles, blogs, and a podcast that brings you interviews with fellow fans. I know one was just recently recorded. And I'm looking forward to that thing coming out. Uh, Occupy Pro Wrestling is putting this smart back at Smart Mark. Please go check them out. A longtime supporters of the show here. OccupyProWrestling.com So, I... So, again, watching TakeOver, and I know there's been some um, Ring of Honor talk lately about how where they are um, um, and stuff. But uh, it, is, it is really interesting, this whole, like, grabbing people thing. Obviously, between All Elite and between NXT, um, it feels like NXT is just raiding yeah. everybody. And, unfortunately, I, and, again, I'm a fan of Ring of Honor, um, but... And and I don't think this is completely negative. Um, what I'm about to say, but they really like NXT became what Ring of Honor was, yeah. right? The place to see hot talent, but with a little bit of money behind it, and and it's delivering the stuff that I went to Ring of Honor for. Yeah, you know, um, I I think that's been it's been a really fascinating shift, and obviously, like you know, how many times have we talked about how hey, all these call ups happen? NXT is in a transition period. And I feel like that's where we're at with Ring of Honor. Mm-hmm. You know, there was there was a big kind of uh, exodus, but I always love when that happens. Yeah, because who steps up next? And that yeah, we've seen obviously friend of the show Shane Taylor, mm-hmm. real big step up in recent months. Yeah, he's been killing it for the last year down there, um, and it's maybe not on as on fire as it was when there was all the synergy with new japan Mm -hmm. and the young bucks elite bullet club whatever Mm -hmm. but there's still a lot of good talent there that i think has a chance to shine i think there's a there's a lot of very great solid talent i don't and by any means and this isn't necessarily based on my relationship but i don't think there's any means that they are in trouble right now i think every good company will go eventually into a transition period right but just like you said you know there is a lot of solid talent now i think naturally when people from the Outside looking in, it's like, okay, when you naturally thought of Ring of Honor, then you were thinking of your main guys that were closing the show almost every night, mm-hmm. which were guys like the Young Bucks. And you Cody. still have your Jay Lethals. You still have your Jay Lethals, mm-hmm. who has been there for God knows how long. He was phenomenal when he when he was in uh, in uh, Impact. And then, you know, he's still doing his thing, has not slowed down. You still have a lot of your ladies that are, that are now picking up uh, a lot of their stuff. And I know they're still looking to to uh, grow more into like the Women of Honor mm-hmm. um, spectrum. But, I mean, you still have... I mean, for for heaven's sake! Now we, I mean, they have guys like Rouge. Uh, we have um, uh, who's the? Um, I'm looking right at this. What happens when I don't when I don't have coffee? I'm looking right at his name. Um, hey, you want some of my cold brew over here? Just, just, just throw just, it up just in throw it up at you. Catch okay. it like snowflakes. But uh, uh, one one of the best uh, high flyers. I can't think of his name. It's going to hit me in a little bit. That uh, that Shane Taylor actually had one of his uh, 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 last matches with. That has been killing it. I mean, they have a very good, solid product. Oh yeah. And and just you said, it's been kind of a uh, a flip to where you know you were talking about how NXT had a point to where it's like a lot of people got caught up as a transitional period. I feel like right now it's a transitional, but it's now it's looking for a bunch of guys that are hungry 
And now it's like, you have to seize your opportunity and take it. And when you get it, you have to work even harder to keep it. And I think once they finally get those areas, it's going to build for a way, way, way more solid product, even now in the future than previous times. So, I, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to do in the uh, next coming months or so. Absolutely. I mean, and, and they are still seeing a lot of, uh, again, some of that synergy. We, we, we do see it like your Juice Robinsons and your Jeff Cobbs and uh, Kenny Kane's been killing it lately. Um, Jonathan Gresham, I think, is coming in oh to gosh, uh, yes. like we have seen him here in Pittsburgh just put on these phenomenal matches. Yeah, um, well, whenever he come in town, and and it feels like he's not just like an extra guy, you know. Um, and this is, I mean, I've talked about before, like the Ring of Honor, like you know, I can't tell, you know, guy in tights that wrestles good <laughs> was yeah. was seemed like every other character, and, and and it comes back and forth, and some of these guys develop up and down, right? Um, so now I'm learning into who are these guys hanging out in this new iteration of of the kingdom, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> who are these lackeys out there that I don't care about? I think one's a pirate. Uh, <laughs> so, and then he came out with an axe at some point. I'm like, oh, oh you're... shit, just got real. Yeah, uh, about, uh, so... Vinny, Vinny more, uh, Vinny more uh, Yeah. So I will tell you, I'll tell you a quick, a, a, a quick story with that. So the Rev's pulpit mask, the mask that I got that has the uh, cruises on it. It's yeah, yeah. By the way, guy. this thing, this thing, yeah, uh, is uh, depending on your level of re- religion. Um, it bothers me. <laughs> I can't say it doesn't bother Does it really? me. Really? It it it, bo- it scares the shit out of me, especially when you snuck up on me at KSWA and had it on. Oh yeah, uh, stuck <laughs> behind you. Were you a BC steel? <laughs> but uh, uh, it's it's you you have like barbed wire around it, yeah. and it's 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 a Jesus mask, and it has a crucifix like on the nose. Yeah. Um. And it's fun. Uh, it's interesting. I'm glad you don't wear the hair with it uh, that, that it came with when you showed <laughs> me it, it originally. Which is st- still in the house. I just, be, I was like, that, yeah. uh, that's a good idea not doing that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and what was the point we were getting at here? You had the mask. You were telling yeah, the Yeah, yeah. So, so the guy that did that, the uh, the company uh, uh, Rockwell Mask, um, uh, he's actually the guy that does all of Vinnie Marcellia's mask. Uh, did a decent amount of... Um, of um, uh, the villain Marty Skrull's mask when he when he came up with the mask and the, and the top hat and everything, mm-hmm. and uh, he was the reason why I reached out to him and I said, "Hey, I have this idea." That's the like uh, long nose mask. Yeah, that he has. yeah, yeah. So so that guy does all both of their masks and they rotate pretty frequently. And I said, "Hey, I have this idea," and you know, kind of kind of the the cool concept behind it. So if you remember way back when when Jordan and I first got there, we had like the generic leather cross mask i think i had like the ones the that i joked were like dark lotus masks yes that's what i they remind me of yeah yeah, yeah. I, got, I got rid of those old, old like, thing. yeah that was kind of like a prototype but uh but he didn't do those that was another another local guy that's, that's real good that does the leather for rwa so um what happened was i told him i said hey i'm the savior of professional wrestling um what i'm looking for is you know something that's you know, savior like gets across my character i said when when people see a mask i want them to think of like the passion of christ um, you know, kind of with like the, um, you know, the crucifixion and everything. So he said, Hey, I have this idea. Draws it up. I'm like, cool. He's like, do you still want some type of cross on the face? I said, yeah. Hits me up two days later. And he's like, Hey, so I was like shopping around at the store and I saw this crucifix. He's like, so instead of an actual cross, what if you make the crucifix across? I'm like, yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah let's just go for it, man. I trust your creative. I, I, I want people, no matter if it's t-shirts or whatever, to have a little bit creative and I'll, I'll have the final say, but you can throw your best at me. And then right after that, I said, can we do some type of crown of thorns around the head? And he messages back like 30 minutes later. He said, well, how about this? Since it's wrestling, um, instead of the crown of thorns, you know, what if we keep that came, that same concept, except we use barbed wire. And I was like, that's even better. And then there you go. Then that then that's how you uh that's how you get it. Minus the hair, because I I haven't thrown the hair on it yet. Does it? And, yeah, that kind of takes things yeah, to a whole new level. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there was so a that. story we're going into with it. I don't know. I think we sidestepped. Oh, we 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 were talking about just Ring, Ring of Honor in general and a, and a bunch of their uh you know a bunch of the, the, I just remembered his name, Bandito. Uh, Bandito, cause, cause, yeah. Yeah. So so he'll actually be uh he'll actually be uh Challenging Shane Taylor at uh, uh, Ring of Honor Best in the World in Baltimore, Maryland. That's the guy. Uh, at the Ring of Honor pay-per-view. Phenomenal high flyer. Phenomenal. But, uh, they, I mean, they're, they're, I feel like they are in a, tra- in a transitional period, but by no means I don't think they're scared. I think they're just trying to line their ducks up. Well, and I think it's interesting because we've seen, I've seen a lot of the ROH Dojo guys over at Fight Society. Yeah. Uh, a few of them have been around there. 
And uh, it, so so I feel like that is a little bit of them shoring that up. Like NXT is going to have no shortage of challenge, p- talent because of your NXT, NXT UK, 205 Lives, mm-hmm. you know, that you can ship people in and, yeah. and start working with them and developing them and getting people used to them. So if ROH would, and I know they've kind of done a TV. Yeah online tv kind of thing with it Mm -hmm. which feels very beyond wrestling Mm -hmm. because there's like a no fans thing yeah the bit i've watched so now there is a little bit of like look what this like i think they're waiting for you know who pops from that yeah and again you know kind of it feels very like who's white guy in black tights guy that wrestles good you know where are the characters at but they're figuring that out this is a new concept I mean, watch early NXT, right, Mike? Uh, no, NXT was pretty gimmick oriented from the right, start. but it was still, you know, you, who the hell is this guy? At right? the same time, it was like, boom, boom, like, okay, like Dean Ambrose this? and Tice did not stick out, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, but, but Dean Ambrose was wasn't in NXT. He was an FCW guy. Right, right. But uh, do you think it was kind of the 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 same? I mean, deal NXT first? Tyler Breeze. Yes. I mean, uh, was he Michael Bennett? Not Michael Bennett. Um, uh, he had a couple, like Michael Shane or something. No, that's somebody else though. No, uh, no. <laughs> he had a couple. He, I know he had a name with Michael and Mike Eric Michaels. Dalton. Was that Mike Dalton? Mike Dalton, right? Like again, kind of generic wrestler name, right? Yeah, but so. but that was in FCW. Like NXT was more character focused. Mm-hmm. Uh, so but but I think they're kind of still seeing who takes off from that it is it is a young process and uh, they're developing that as a as its own product and feeder system too so there isn't hopefully you know these gaps yeah when when people leave roh for whatever reason yeah. because i mean it's gonna it's gonna happen to every company impact has seen this uh new japan has seen this and uh and 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 they all roll with the punches because, yeah because i mean t- you know anybody who is not wwe is going to suffer from this yeah I, th- I think a cool a cool concept that uh, you know that I've been able to you know have the privilege of fortunately witness is um, the way that they've been handling themselves, especially since you know we now have this uh, this new company emerging, All Elite Wrestling. Is you know they first had their initial uh, training facility in the Bristol, Connecticut, or the Bristol. Oh goodness, the Bristol, Pennsylvania area, so right outside of yeah, Philly. Yeah. Too many too many Bristols. And, uh, that is kind of ironic. But uh, so so they initially had their original thing there, which is their normal, you know, typical warehouse, one one ring and everything yeah, like that. Yeah. Pretty much almost around that same time, either before or shortly after. Yeah, yeah, I remember several people going to there and telling me stories about that. Yeah, yeah, which they had like no AC; it was completely hot. A couple people, Pat, you can talk to if you talk to like Nick Lindell, yeah, or a few of them, a couple of Pittsburgh people we had down there as well. He'll tell you there was no AC, nothing. Our, our ref Joe, uh, uh, Joe McCoy, Jimmy was down Nuts there. went there and it told me about it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was rough, but but now it's like right after that, I feel like they're taking it. Uh, a little more serious and they're kind of throwing it at like the WWE performance center level now right. of their own version. So now they're in Baltimore, two rings that are set up there. They have their own like gym area, um, full, full out thing, an entrance set up for people to practice their entrance. And, and, and again, so they kind of set a model for that, didn't they? Yeah. And plus it's a thing that now they've set a bar. Yeah. So let's say I'm a professional athlete. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for the next thing. I want to give wrestling a try. You see the, you know, in WWE, uh, if, if, with between the combines they've been posting lately and now they have a YouTube channel and they're putting that over mm-hmm. and you can go see all these these stories and see people there and or you walk in and be like oh okay this is a top facility it's like walking into Steelers you know training center or something yeah. right you have to now compete on that level yeah so you do need to upgrade from your sweaty warehouse because exactly. I'm an ex NFL star I'm not gonna walk into a sweaty warehouse and think exactly. that this is a for real thing. You're not gonna you're not right. gonna be like, you know, rocking you're like, not gonna be in like an old meat locker room, like right. all right, yeah. Right. I know. mean, this is still wrestling, like people have to train yeah. and it's tough as 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 hell to yeah. do it, period. But there's still an impression to attract certain talent. Exactly. It seems. Well you 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 think now, like I mean a lot of a lot of guys that, that they have now uh uh got it used to be with uh, or now goes by uh PJ Black. Mm-hmm. Uh there was Justin Gabriel yeah. with with uh NXT. Um you had a, a, a few about, a few talk about name changes. I don't know which one there. Yeah that's that's what I said. <laughs> yeah look, look, hey, Mad Mike what, what do you think there uh J- Justin Gabriel or uh, or uh, or uh, PJ Black. Oh that's I'm gonna say PJ Black because 
he was in Lucha. Okay. Yeah. All right. Generally, and, Ju- but... and Justin Gabriel, I typically don't trust anyone with two first names. <laughs> yeah. Typically, I don't. Can you think of a good one? I can't. Billy Bob. No, definitely not. <laughs> All right, I don't well, even what about know who you're talking about. I, I think I think I think I remember. Uh, I think Tina put this in the in the messages a little, a little while ago. Well, she was talking about uh, uh, John Morrison and now his uh, uh, fifty million name changes. <laughs> John, well, John, yeah. Johnny, Johnny, Mundo, Johnny Impact, right uh, Johnny yeah. Blackcraft, Johnny Blackcraft. <laughs> it says keep, I love the way. No, the, but I love the way his name. best name change is Boone the Bounty Hunter. That is true. That is true. That wins. I feel. I feel. Have you seen that movie? Part of it. Oh, Part of it. watch oh, the rest of it. Not that I need, watch I need to finish it. I'll give you it. one of my two yeah. copies of it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. I feel like his name, and I'm actually excited whenever I see John Morrison somewhere, wherever you want to call him now, because I feel like it keeps changing just based on the company. So yeah. I want him in the well, Pittsburgh area so it could be like Johnny Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Oh, like, <laughs> Johnny Renegade? Yeah, Johnny, Johnny Renegade. Renegade. <laughs> Let's make this yeah. happen. Or, jo- or, Johnny or, Rise. Johnny Rise. <laughs> And Johnny, Johnny Rise with a Y. Yes, jo- right. Johnny Johnny Society. I don't like, that's kind of sounds like a surfer, but you know. I, yeah. By the way, I, when I was at Rise with an I, I actually said Rise with a Y to oh, Kevin, I think. No. Like, <laughs> to be fair, it's so, their own fault for having the same same word as their wrestling promotion. That's right. So, anyway. And, uh, the cat almost just put on the Delirious Mask. That'd be fantastic. If you, if you hear. If this happens, you need to get video of it. Cat Larry. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyways, everybody, everything will be just fine, guys. Uh, <laughs> everything will be just fine for everybody. Uh, geez. <laughs> All right, I guys. I have no idea what that sentence meant, but. <laughs> uh, bring, I was trying to bring him back to Ring of Honor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we went off to our, but, but yeah, I'm kind of, kind of going back to that, but, uh, yeah, they, they do have a, a, a newer facility. I feel like that. Well, here, here, here's one thing before us, like, you know, you would have your guys that would typically do their Bristol. Uh, their Bristol, uh, uh, Pennsylvania location. And uh, then it was just more about, and Crystal Russo, I guarantee you talked about this numerous times because we, yeah, we've yeah, been walking on the one. same page. Yeah. Um, but it was more of like, you know, you, you show up if they like what they see, but yet you still have to show your face. If they have some time or feel like they can do something, hey, you got your stuff. Now it's very, very locked down to where mm-hmm. now they're only using their guys for Future of Honor who are completely locked down in our system. It's not like, Hey, we remember you at a tryout. Yeah, you showed up and helped set up the ring five times. Hey, we, we'll give you five minutes. Now they're really only using their guys that are fully locked down. If you go on Ring of Honor's site, they have a Future of Honor tab that's going to show a lot of their Future of Honor really? people. And that's all that they use. So now it's like, they're, and I, I don't want to cross that, but now it's like their version oh, yeah. of, of NXT to where if there's a Future of Honor match that you see, whether it's on YouTube or even if they do it in the middle of the show like they still do, that they'll throw up on a YouTube page. They're only using their set future of honor guys. And so now it's, it's making people work hard to get there, to stay there so wow. that they can, they can continue. I, hunting. Yeah. You see I just it, realized right? I've seen like most of these guys like in the area too. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. So that, that's, that's, you'll see guys like, 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 uh, like flex Simmons. You have yeah. uh, Joe keys, uh, flex and Joe keys are doing a, uh, a, uh, ROH dojo versus fight society training yeah. thing. Now that's been really, really interesting. And that, Dak, Dak Draper was Dak there Draper for was a little great. bit. Um, Ryo, Ryo, I've seen um yep. uh, before. He was a part of this and some other stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, I just hit the officials tab. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, they, they had a yeah they had a um, few things. Yeah. Actually, Dak Draper, I think his career started when he was initially first training yeah. at the WWE Performance Center. Yeah, he was an NXT guy for a bit. Yeah. So um, he had lo- he had longer hair. Still stud though. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 that's that's what they're doing. And, and and when you watch them consistently now with Future Runner, that's a lot of the guys that they're using now mm-hmm. on their main, you know, on their on their main, um, you know, their their main roster for Future of Honor and everything like that. So they're locking it down and making people work harder than ever. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I think I think you know I feel like they've really focused on that, especially with a company like All Elite Wrestling. And you know, kind of to kill it. I think all pro wrestling is great. You yeah, know, every yeah. everything is great. And people think, oh, because I like this, I have to hate this. Yeah. No, I think it's good for elite impact, WWE, Ring There's of Honor, more everything. More wrestling. When you're not happy with money. By the way, I got I gotta give a shout out. Uh, uh, Bradley 
has been really great the last two weeks I've seen. Bradley Ruthers? Yes. Aww. I mean, he's always awesome. And we talked about, we, I and Bradley. I talked with him recently about how I said people should pay him to make him a crowd lover. Uh, like Art <laughs> of Water has. We had a very serious discussion about that before Chikara a couple weeks ago. Uh, but anyways, still stand by Bradley. Uh, uh, he, he's been making a post on his Facebook, which is private, so... Oh, but I'm okay giving this up here, Bradley. Uh, <laughs> if you're not happy with what you're watching on Monday or what you're watching in, instead of this this Friday pay per view from yep. the desert, <laughs> but, <laughs> and he's like, go watch some indie wrestling network. Cough, cough, so, man. Like, and that's not just filling in like the thing we do, you know, which yeah. I appreciate. Um, but like, you have something to watch. Absolutely. Go pull up the latest Ring of Honor or yeah. Wrestling from Hollywood or is MLW on there, I think. MLW is on like, there. Which I hear great things about. Yeah. I've only seen little clips. Um, I've seen some of the, I think some of the girls from Angel Gate uh, are from there. Uh, great talents. And um, I think Gia Scott and uh, yep. Aria Palmer, if I got the names yeah. right, might be from there. They, Gia, like Gia Scott was actually at the, at the dojo. Okay, recently. yeah. Okay. Hey, it shows. They had a great match a couple months ago with Angel Gate, yeah. and I'm looking forward. I think they're going to be at least. I think both of them are back this month again uh, for Angel Gate. Uh, not I, I pay per view this month, but we'll be coming back. Uh, I believe in July for that. Um, but anyways, pwxangelgate.com. Get my plugs out. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, we're at. It. I don't have another ad, so I, I, I'm just going to throw that in there. Um, but you have options. Yeah, and. And now you don't have to live in a town. Uh, also, we are infinitely blessed in Pittsburgh to have the promotions we have. Yeah, like, absolutely. Across the board. Hands down. Um, And, and everybody. Everybody yeah. uh, that we work with and don't. There's just great shit here. Yeah. Every weekend. Every single and weekend. And again, in the traveling, I'm seeing the kinds of promotions other places. Uh, and, and they've been a lot of fun, but also seeing, you know, certain aspects lacking. Yeah. You know? Just like level of shows, level of talent, mm -hmm. level of why can't I figure out where your show is from your poster? Uh, oh, so boy. That, believe but, it or not, that's a common error outside. Listen, of man, if I if your poster just says Eagle Outpost Five, <laughs> um, I'm in Michigan, and Google is not going to be kind to me with that. And I'm not my confidence level of showing up to random building and learning if there's wrestling there yeah. an hour away from where I'm working is not <laughs> going to happen. Uh, <laughs> so putting that out there, everybody at Pittsburgh does very good posters. Most of them are done by Jesse the Mark. Shout out there. Uh, but the point is, uh, you don't if you're not blessed to be in an area like this, Mike. I don't think you have a lot of great indie wrestling in your area, if I recall. Like you have a, you have NEW and stuff like that, but not like the multitude that we do. Yeah, right. I mean, at least not to my knowledge. Right. If it is, it's like down in the but city. I'm not you can now out. reach out the things I just mentioned in Honor Club, YouTube. There is plenty to watch and enjoy wrestling. There is plenty to be happy about wrestling. You know, and yeah. and you know the different flavors of uh, uh, ice cream thing. Uh, Tina's pointing out, out out there in the Pacific Northwest, there was uh, very little indie wrestling. Now it's booming. And I think this is happening in a lot of places too, yeah. right? Um, you know, it's, and it's more than just uh, the tax refund uh, promotions <laughs> popping up, which we still have oh, in the area. Still got some uh, so they'll be gone I mean, in like three months. Well, so yeah, that's okay. They'll be yeah, they'll be gone by the time the leaves turn. Um, but uh, you know, but but still, there is a lot happening there, and there's a lot of great talent. And every time we say, "Well, who's going to step up?" You yeah. know, hey, AIW just took everybody. Well, you're wait until after WrestleMania and see who steps up. Yeah, and it really is. I, I think I think we're looking back in and just dealing with like the the scene of uh, of, of Pittsburgh wrestling at all. If you, when you think about it, the two newest companies, newest that are in the Pittsburgh area that I'm, that I'm aware of off the, off the top of my head that are consistent new. Is Rise who, who previously had their two year anniversary with a y. and they're doing phenomenal with the Y with a spin off their own NXT ish thing yeah exactly and then because because they have their their Uprise show with a Y mm -hmm. and a U but uh, so <laughs> <laughs> just in case you don't know how to spell up you know so so they're they're like the second newest and the, I believe like the the most newest is Prospect Pro Wrestling who has right. been consistently pretty much almost selling out. Every single show has multi screens and everything. But if you think of those are the two newest, and they are both phenomenal companies, and then you add in everyone else, which I think RDB had a ten year. You know, I think uh, uh, Fight Society, 
Uh, then the NWA East PWX has been the longest overall. Um, mm-hmm. You got you got IWC, who's I mean, name speaks for itself. You have plus, KSWA, plus spinoffs like Angel Gate happening. They're bringing yeah, like, like really good all women's straight wrestling. all women's wrestling, which not many any areas overall do it. You know, I was clamoring for a women's show, and the VOW finally did one. Yeah, out in like Jeanette, PA. At a bar somewhere, right? And I was just like, finally! You're like, yes! And and I also got to see Super Oprah versus G-Raver on that show. Uh, but <laughs> That sounds amazing. That was Oh, man, that was great. That uh, sounds amazing. That is, that is, that I need to find I think I got a DVD somewhere with that on there. I'll, I'll think it's some permission to throw that on YouTube or something. But anyways, um, what was my, my point? Yeah, so there's that, and nobody was doing it. And some people didn't even have, like, women's championships, yeah. right? And it was even if they did, it was really still an afterthought. Exactly. You know, and and now, like, there is that dedication to something like that. Yeah. And, and it's really gotten attention, too. Yeah. Like, I'm surprised yeah. the attention that it's gotten yeah. uh, uh, from just existing and, you know, having good talent. And the people involved is just incredible. Yeah. Um. So I mean, it, I think I think it could definitely get better. You know, and and and, th- and this is one thing that I remember when when I was there because I mean it's been the same. You know, it's been the same location when I was there, with mm-hmm. with PWX. I think it is. Uh. You know, it's phenomenal to have an all women show. I think if there's ever a time that they could switch to a uh, switch to a better location, it's more, um, not only eye catching, but easily accessible for fans to understand yeah. where it is. Rather than be like, yeah. they're wrestling in a broken church. Whoa! Like, yeah. you know, I think that's yeah. what people naturally think right well, now. And, well, and I think, and that's that's where we're kind of inside baseball on here, I guess. But uh, but I mean, it, it, it's but the presentation's great. Thing. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, and and I can think back to. I'm watching a lot of old wrestling from the 90s that was at the Eastland Mall, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> you yeah. know, but the presentation is there. Yeah. And I think that's a big you know, all the wrestling is in weird locations. Yeah. You know, um why am I going on this back road and this is going to be like the most like high produced like show in the exactly. area. Exactly. Right? Is what happens here. And that's yeah. what happens in most indie wrestling unfortunately. You know, and some of it's in towns you don't want to go to. Yeah. And and you have to do more legwork on that. Obviously, yeah. right? Like, I don't know if I want to go all the way to was it Worthington, PA, yeah. an hour out of town to go see um, whatever this Prospect Pro Wrestling is. Yeah. You know, unless you do know them from these other promotions, exactly. You know, and uh, you know, it, it's it's weird, and that's you know, figuring out that dichotomy is interesting yeah. too. Um, but uh, it, I don't know what the point was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But that's everything, right? Yeah. And so you can do things like what we're seeing, you know, Sam Adonis doing and, and putting exactly. like wrestling the in the South Side. Yeah. You know, obviously KSWA uh, in Lawrenceville mm-hmm. is a huge boon for it, you know. Yeah. And that is, you know, I, I love KSWA, but location is killer for them right now. Yeah. Right. Um, and, and, and you'll notice that going from like shows to shows. Yeah. Too. Like we saw them in Springdale. Yeah. So not the same vibe, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's a whole other, vibe it's a whole the other thing happening there. Yeah. And they do these other shows, Millville Days, things like that. You know, they're do- putting together fun shows, different kinds of audiences, changes that vibe. Um, and uh, and we should really start stop talking about Pittsburgh wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> we love so, it. We do. We, we love it. it. We, could, we go on forever for the. We'll be the after dark. <laughs> we'll tell you what we really think about some of these promotions. <laughs> So tell me, tell me what your latest thoughts on PWX. That after dark, stay Ooh. tuned. Patreon, uh, you actually recently came back to that arena. Yeah, so, uh, yeah that was that was amazing. Had a great comeback. I was like, ah, oh, who's gonna come out next? <laughs> yeah, that was that was a fun one. That was after the notorious uh, Hank Hudson pipe bomb. Oh man! <laughs> oh, I think we we'll talked about that on the show. Oh, well, I'm not mad. Mike is bored about Pittsburgh wrestling. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk about New York wrestling. I, I'm just jealous. Like I don't have a lot of indie wrestling that I can actively find. You can crash me. on my couch any day. You can stay here for like five months and just go to a wrestling <laughs> show with me all the time. Well, I mean, it, it's not that it's not that I don't get to watch enough wrestling. <laughs> I, <laughs> that is, yeah, that's true. That, that that's is true. that is not that is not. Well, you know what? Your your workplace. Uh, uh, no, shall we name Amos? Should really mm-hmm. sponsor a mega bus trip uh, every other weekend for you. Uh, for research purposes, and uh, and just just you know everything will be great. Yeah, I'll 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 run that up the chain. We'll see okay. how that goes. Yeah, have okay. your people call my people. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Oh boy, 
Oh, what what didn't I learn? <laughs> and the stalling tactics are on. No, um, I mean I mentioned this a little bit on um on the the wrap up last night, but Monster Jam is the biggest fucking work I've ever seen in my life. It's a fucking work. I don't want you to go into this because you went into no, it. No, I'm last not gonna night. go into it. I went into it enough last night, but Gravedigger is the Roman Reigns of Monster Jam. I love Grave There you Digger. go. <laughs> there you I, I, I feel like when, exactly. I, I feel like exactly. when anyone thinks problem. about Monster Jam, they're like, Grave Digger. Yeah. yeah they, you were absolutely right on that. Mm-hmm. Rev, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that it's not proper storytelling unless I bleed and I do this. <laughs> what? That's what, I, that's what I learned. I, I've just been sticking to that. Well, I don't even know how to explain that for our audio listeners that you just did there. You know what? Whatever, whatever they think this is. Yes. Whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want. Whatever, whatever you want that. Well, not you, the video people. But for, the, <laughs> um, for the audio wait. people, whatever you want that moment of silence to be. Um, but for the video people, I don't. I don't know if you if you want that to be a, a an image. I don't know, but I am that. marking that for a gift. Later. <laughs> Now my phone died. Um, so whatever you do, definitely don't. And by don't, I mean do. Slow the gift down. <laughs> oh. Mm. Yes. Let's see. Bundertaker and whatever that was at 43 minutes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, I can't wait for this one. They have like gift Centro over dude, here. It's. I've been starting to gif video for some of my clients that are not wrestling <laughs> and it's been it's, it's, been, it's becoming it's been pretty good i have a gift thing on my phone yeah. i start doing my own gifts so it's like i have uh have like the uh i'm here for the comments gif i have the uh the you know oh i'm dead you know gif and everything yeah um i learned the importance of elbow room at a pro wrestling event that is very important i got to you see... can't touch weenuses <laughs> Well, also, like, I don't want my knees in the back of the person in front of me. Also, I need access to be able to go to the, your concession stand to get a hot dog so I don't go too long without eating because I didn't eat on the way to your 6 o'clock bell time after work. Uh, <laughs> finding another location. Listen, uh, I saw Upstate Pro Wrestling uh, this weekend. Fun promotion. That sounds uh, Dick, fun. Uh, uh, Dick Justice? Is that Super Cop? Dick Justice? Am I getting that name right? Why do, That feels wrong. Probably, probably just because it generally feels wrong. <laughs> but if not, you just made a wrestler. Super Cop Dick Trustis, uh was on it. Uh, Nick Ando, your captain. Sorry, Mike. Uh, who I got to see in Revenge a few months ago uh, in a great match. It was a, another local guy. I think Elsie Locke, I think was his name. Mm-hmm. I, might, I might be getting that wrong. Uh, but they had a great match. Uh, I have not seen. Do you, do you remember Cheech? Do you know what? Cheech? I don't think so. He, I, he was in. I know Chong. He was in Chikara. I want to say he had a minute in um, in uh, Ring of Honor probably mm-hmm. a few years ago, um, yeah. and and yes. he was teaming with Colin Delaney for a bit. Uh, uh, when he came out the Murder Incorporated f- from Bruce Springsteen, which was impressive. Never like, mind. He, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Never mind. Wait, actually, this is coming said, together. Yeah, yeah. Wait, that came, that's what got it. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know that. why that's that's what got it, but I know. okay. Okay. He had a match with Anthony Gaines. That was great. It was on Facebook. I shared it in the I group. I love Anthony. Um, it was it was again like I don't know who these locals guys are. I got I did get really he mad. Was Cloudy in Chikara. Yeah, Cloudy. That was Cheech and Cloudy in Chikara. That's right. Um, I know we saw him them here in Pittsburgh as well, but uh, uh, I I learned that I get really angry when I see an indie promotion um do an exact raw segment. Oh, oh, that's that's never a look you want. Tag team champs come out. Another tag team comes out and says they need a shot. Third team comes out. Fourth team comes out. Eight man tag player. Holla holla. I got really mad. I got no, like I loved the majority of this show. Then I got super mad that they pulled this. But oh, wow. and I and again, just like it's always interesting dropping into a show. Yeah. I don't know any of these storylines. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know why it happened in Michigan. Guy came in in a neck brace. Has a manager guy. Has PFAs for all these guys that came out of the back that I presume are own your security, whatever. One dude had a dog, um, <laughs> had a small dog, uh, and, and and like at ringside, I'm just like, you're like, what, what is happening right now, right? Like, you, like if you're holding a dog in wrestling, 
by a character uh, by the ring and you don't have a sequin jacket i have a problem okay like this is not pro wrestling so so what have you done with pro wrestling uh mwpa i think was the promotion that was out of michigan uh I, but by the way they had a fun great show otherwise and thank you for commenting on our uh instagram uh of from last week uh but that was just that was the other thing that confused me too um but yeah that's that's one of that's two weeks of what i learned in wrestling uh from indies so i did figure out i got to see um eight promotions across i think i've seen wrestling in about seven states this year jeez already it's only june it's only June, and I don't know how much more traveling I'm going to need to do. So, uh, well, if I get to the gathering, I'll add in our state. Oh, that'll be fun. So, uh, well, I mean, generally, I watch wrestling in at least three states, <laughs> or film, or whatever. One, right? one of the two. You're still there. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, or edited, or whatever. Have you ever had a spot in a, a actual wrestling show? No, 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 no. I don't know. No, no, no. Chachi has. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're not doing that. Uh, we have well, pe- I mean, you have, just not in wrestling shows that you work on. Okay, we're not talking about the backyard days. <laughs> I've, already, I've already brought up my rap career. Uh, so, uh, oh, geez, the chat. My, my phone died, so if there's anybody in the chat, well, I know we're going forever tonight. Uh, I'm hoping, I, I would apologize, but I'm hoping you're enjoying this if you're sticking around. Um, in the chat, I want to see if you guys learned anything as well. Don't be really embarrassed if nobody has. <laughs> uh where is the chat it's not working i also learned that rabbits are made of jam oh yeah jeez rabbits are made of jam i can remember watching the rev ron hunt when he was at the new when he was very new at pwx i've been around for a long time and didn't know a lot of the boys i thought he had already was working he had already worked five years there you go Oh, my man, Chris, yeah. Chris out there. Uh, Tina learned that she's going to treat herself to New Japan as an earth- early birthday present. New Japan is doing Super J Cup in the Northwest. Ooh. So I love this expansion they're doing. Like, more J- New Japan in America, yeah. please. And love Young Lions. That's right. So, Rev, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, no, we're going to do. We're going to record some after dark here if you got some time for us. Yeah, and uh, I know we get you. You've dedicated a lot of time to the show already. <laughs> yeah, I got a little bit of time for I have an angry Sam Adonis. I got to call. Oh bit. no! <laughs> oh no! Well, he's not. He's not mean, angry. He's not angry. I'm probably. Just, I'm probably. I mean, it's show week. He's he's generally pretty amped up. So yeah. yeah. I got to catch up with them, too. Uh, where can people find you online? Everyone can find me. Just type in The Rev Ron Hunt on all social media. Some of the handles are different, but if you type in The Rev Ron Hunt, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you will find me there. All of the craziness, all of my promo glories, including me talking about sister cousins, showing my four shows, <laughs> and uh, everything else about calling people heathens and talking about beating up Jordan Styles. There you go. Uh, and uh, any any pro- anything you want to plug your showing up at? Uh, in the next few weeks? Yes, yeah, so in the next few weeks, including this Friday and Saturday, we're all West Virginia, this Friday in Mannington, West Virginia, Saturday, uh, or Friday I'll be in Grafton, West Virginia, Saturday, I will, Friday I'll be in Grafton, West Virginia, Saturday I'll be in Mannington, West Virginia at their barbecue fest. I uh, got a title uh, match opportunity against Tyler Box. Uh, outside of that, we have a bunch of other stuff. I'm just going to run through this real quick if I can. Uh, next Saturday will be at KSWA. That's Saturday 22nd. The following day, I'll be at MVP. And then right after that, I'll be on the road taking a little break a little bit. Uh, two days with ROH for their Baltimore Best and World pay-per-view. Chillaxing with a couple good people. Next day, uh, Philadelphia taping at a 2300 arena. So, yeah. There you go. Also known as the former ECW. Right? The former ECW. Which, watch out for the crowd. Taya Vakarij had some issues uh, there over the weekend. They're rowdy. <laughs> they, they get rowdy. <laughs> they get rowdy. And also, Taya Vakarij does not stand for your shit. No. So, <laughs> thank you, everybody. Mad Mike 483 on the tweets. YouTube.com slash poppy. Mm-hmm. Sorgashan on the Twitter, where I will talk about whatever. And the alligators in my neighborhood, apparently. They caught one, though. They caught one. Good old chomps. They, they caught one. No, no, they, they didn't catch chomps. Two blocks. They, they did catch an alligator two blocks from my house. It's okay. G- congratulations. In Morgantown, they still haven't caught the 15-foot python. Oh, good. So I was almost on Star 100 with Bubba and Melanie about it. So. All right. We're still working on it. Jumanji is going crazy in all of the, <laughs> all of the areas. It is. It is. I was wondering why the deer were acting weird when I left. <laughs> So, thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks to everybody in the chat room. Uh, Mayhem out. All right.
uh, stream. Uh, we'll be back on 8 p.m. with Brohemoth on Wednesday. And I think we're starting on noon at noon on Sunday with uh, we'll have Paul Atlas and Z- Xander Gabriel. Did I get that right? Later, there's a oh, yeah, yeah. There's another. Yeah. I, I, I knew like IWC Black's grad. Grad. That's like a, a, yeah, PJ Black's new gimmick is. Uh, no, that's that's. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.